first thing we want to do is we're going to shut off the water so that we don't have any major problems. So you see this valve here. Um, turn it off righty tidy. That will turn it off. Um, what I like to do beforehand, I'm just going to flush the toilet. It might be a bit loud, sorry. And then turn it off immediately afterwards so you should be able to hear the water actually turning off. Here we go. Alright, toilet is a flushing. Water should be going through the valve. You can hear it. Oh, and you hear it turn off. Brilliant. That is how you know it is off. Full times. Now that the water has been turned off, there's a little valve here. Uh, we want to unscrew that. Um, there's probably going to be some water that's left over in the pipe. They might want to have a rag or two. Just leg around. Okay. So I loosened it up a bit. You can just unscrew it. Oh, uh, yep. Getting water on me right now. And there. So we got water coming out. Conveniently have rags to soak up all the water. Awesome. So that's the first thing done. Okay, now we want to install our key valve here. And um, I'm not going to use the, the tape because this is just nylon on nylon. Nylon. You shouldn't need it. Um, I'm doing this one handed just to show you how easy it is. Oh, that's a cool sound. Okay, so I've got that screwed in. And now we'll screw this in. And I'm gonna have to use two hands. But just imagine you're watching me screw it in. So I just realized I forgot an important step. This definitely needs to go inside here. Uh, so I'm gonna do that again. Okay, I just got that screwed on. It's good stripping water. That's cool. That's actually what I wanted. Um, one thing you can do, if you want to test it, just put your finger on here and then go ahead and turn it back on. That way you'll know if any water is leaking or not. And it is not. Now we're ready for the next step. The next thing you want to do is these little tabs will come out. And they've got some nylon screws in here. I just want to unscrew that. I got the screws out, sorry I didn't show you that, but uh, I just wanted to show you this. You will have to get something to secure this while you're unscrewing it. Um, for me, I just got a rag and kind of pried the, the rag under there to get a better grip. And I was able to unscrew that. So now with those off, you can just take off the toilet seat. Oh, fair warning, these and this is probably going to be nasty. If nastiness is not your thing, you may want to consider wearing some nylon or some latex gloves. Alright, so, now for the fun part. Put that on, line these up. Probably want this to go. Make sure uh, it's not exactly center, but that's probably. I'll see if I can adjust it a little bit more. Hold on. I was able to get that perfectly centered. Turns out it's a lot easier if you use two hands. One thing you can do to check, you can see there's kind of some notches on here. So we've got one notch and 
one notch, so we know it's centered. So that's one thing to look for. Screw these on yet, just because I wanted to get everything set up and make sure it was working before I really fully committed to it. But uh, I've gone ahead and I've screwed that on there. And then I don't know if you can see it right here. But, and I just did that with my fingers. Turned it on. I don't see any leaks so far. I'll probably come back with an adjustable wrench or something and tighten it up a bit more. Let me go ahead and tighten everything up. So I have everything set up and turn the water on. There's no leaks. I didn't even bother getting a, a wrench to tighten it. Uh, the connectors actually seem really good. So I'm just going to show you real quick how this works. Um, if you go this way, the water will just shoot straight down. And uh, I guess that's for cleaning the toilet after you do your business. Uh, I'll show you that. Pretty exciting, eh? And then this is the actual bidet function. So let me just Stop my there you go. Look at that action. So the head actually pops down and then squirts out. It's pretty cool.